Hey my beautiful Sagittarius peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your August 2022 tarot reading. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. Without a further ado, we're going to jump on into this and we're going to see what we got going on, baby. And already right off the bat, we got two cards. We got here the World card and we got here the Three of Swords. Definitely some pretty intense energies coming out over here. I feel like this is about getting ready to put some sort of pain behind you. Anytime you see the World card, World card typically indicates that you're ready here for a new beginning. You're ready here to leave something completely in the past as you start your new world ahead. And of course, as many of us know, Three of Swords is that card of pain. And um, it could be pain, of course, that can come from a source of heartbreak, but it also could be pain in general of just feeling like you've experienced a lot of things happening continuously could be like an overwhelming type of energy like a lot was unfolding at once and um, it just really hit you hard you know so that three of swords could be a moment of like just a bunch of built-up pain or could be heartbreak of course take it how it resonates to you uh, let's go ahead and grab your last two overall energies though for your month ahead what are going to be the last two overall energies showing up here for Sagittarius throughout August 2022 and having a look here at the last two cards for you we got here the page of wands and we also have here the high priestess so Piscean energy showing up with the high priestess card you might be dealing with a pisces uh, you also could be dealing with a fixed sign here because we do have the world so that'll be aquarius taurus scorpio and potentially a leo now let's go ahead and take a look at these energies the world card the three of swords like i said wanting to put some sort of pain behind you i think that you definitely seem a lot more brighter this month than you felt in a little while you know, Page of Wands is a very explorative energy. It's very fun. Um, it's the energy of getting into a little bit more of a flirtiness, a little bit more of a flow state. Um, it's about having more fun. You know, for those of you that are dealing with love, it could represent flirtiness. But if that's not your uh, forte right now, it's just representing have, having a little bit more fun with life, being a little bit more open, adventuring more, not being cooped up in the house, going out, doing things, taking many trips, taking many adventures. It's just about having fun and enjoying the moment. And I think that that's exactly what your intuition has been trying to tell you here, because you do have here the High Priestess, which is that card of intuition. You know, High Priestess card here says, it's time to lighten up a little bit. And that's exactly what you're doing here in the month of August. And I feel like that's happening kind of on a collective level. Like a lot of people moving out of cancer season, diving into Leo season, we're lightening up a lot more, we're relaxing a little bit, and we're having a little bit more fun because we've moved past that heavy, heavy state of dealing with so much emotional stuff and dealing with so much baggage. You know, cancer season, that's what it's all about. And that's what that Three of Swords probably arose from. You know, in cancer season, it might have been a little bit difficult here for you, Sagittarius, because you could have had lots of things happen, lots of deep emotional stuff coming up for you. And you're ready this month to put it all behind you, to lighten up a little bit, and to just enjoy your life a little more and to add that spectacle of fun back on into your life, you know? All right, cool. I like that so far. Let's go ahead and have a look here and see what's going to be going on in your surroundings in the month of August 2022. What is going to be surrounding Sagittarius here in this month? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout their August 2022. Having a look here at the first card out, we do got here the Queen of Pentacles. Love that for you. Queen of Pentacles is a card that I think is a very self-serving card. Not self-serving in any way that portrays negative. It's a card of self-care. You're being mindful with what you're doing with your time. You're being incredibly mindful with what you're doing with your energy and whom you're giving your energy to. So you're making sure that you're just being as cautious as you can with what you're doing with your time and energy. Uh, we also got the Lovers and we got the Nine of Pentacles. Cool. I do feel like in August, as you become back into having a little bit more fun, you're probably going to meet a lot more new people. This could be the energy of meeting new friends through a friend you already have. Um, it also could be the energy, too, of meeting new people in the dating scene. You may not be intentionally trying to date anybody this month, Sagittarius, but there could be somebody here who finds you when you're single and is interested in you, and there could be a connection that potentially forms. So as far as your surroundings go, you might be surrounded by somebody who's attracted to you, forms a bond with you, and then wants to kind of put the moves on you. Just saying. So for some single Sages, you might meet somebody this month. And then looking at the last card we have for your surroundings, we do have here the Judgment card, which is a card that I like to see. So taking a look here at your surroundings, guys, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Lovers, Judgment. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Well, Queen of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. You know, right now, you're in a very independent place. I think that you're looking at what you want to do with your life and how you can have 
as much fun as possible. How you can have a much more lighthearted time than dealing with some serious and really tough energies. You know, as I've mentioned, cancer season was something that I think a lot of you guys went through it uh, when you were involved in it. And now that you're out of cancer season, it's like, I can't wait to do things. I can't wait to hang out with people, to make fun things and to have fun trips. You know, it's almost the end of summer. I want to do something with it. So you're ready here to really explore and have fun. Now with the lover's card here to the judgment, this is where things get a little interesting because it's about giving chances to people that are going to be new to your environment. I really do feel like in the month of August, you're going to encounter lots of new people. Whether you have friendly connections with them or deep romantic ones, there's gonna be a time here where you're meeting new individuals and giving people chances to be a part of your life. So you will start to meet a lot of new individuals and there will be a lot of new energy to work with. It seems very playful, it seems very fun. Uh, maybe some of you guys here are meeting new friends and like I said, it could be through a friend that you might meet new friends. You might be uh, going to a new job potentially. So those coworkers that you end up finding might actually be some really cool people that you'll end up hanging out with. Uh, so I do feel an energy of lots of new people coming into your life. Now, with the lovers, though, and the judgment here, this is also the energy about giving yourself a chance to do what you love. So I do think that a lot of you guys coming into the month of August are going to start being more mindful to what it is you truly feel connected to. For example, if you've always had a talent and you've never really let that talent shine, this month you might see yourself trying to do something with it. Let's say you're very great at playing piano and nobody really knows that about you and you never really did anything with that talent, you might start a TikTok page where you do a bunch of cool piano songs. You might start to go to bars or clubs that have a piano and go play for people and put on shows. You know, it's that energy of like expanding on stuff that you really connect with, uh, even though you never really took a chance on it before. So this could be about the time where buried dreams come to life. Any dreams that have been buried deep down might come alive here this month, which is a beautiful thing to see. I'm a person who loves when people really show off their talents. They really get involved in what they dream about and what they really care about and what they're passionate about. And to see that come to life, I think is a really beautiful thing to see in August 2022. So you might have that happen here as well in your environment and in your surroundings. You know, you might be surrounded by lots of things you care about, lots of things you're passionate about, and it's like, huh, maybe I should actually take action on it this time around. Maybe I should see where it could go. All right. All right, Sam, let's go ahead and have a look and see how you'll be doing and feeling personally in the month of August 2022. We already got the sun card jumping out, so that's great freaking news. Leo energy over here. You definitely seem like a very happy soul, very lighthearted this month. A lot, lot better than the previous couple months that maybe you've endured. Moving on to the next card, we do have here the Knight of Cups. Cool. I feel like you're really out there as well. You're not shy at all this month. You seem, and not to say that a Sagittarius is shy anyways, every Sagittarius I've ever known has been incredibly outgoing, but I feel like you're more outgoing than usual. You're in a very go, go, go mentality. You are not bored at all this month, by the way. You always have something to do and you're always going to be doing something. I just feel like your schedule is going to be busy, busy, busy. And the more that you stick to a schedule, the easier it is. It's like you don't have time to slow down and get stuck in your head. You don't have time to overthink. You don't have time to get bored. There's just so much to do and it's really fun. Moving on to the next two cards for you guys, we also have here the Ace of Cups and we have here the King of Cups. So taking a look at how you'll be feeling personally here, moving into the month of August, your personal feelings are looking incredibly well. I think a lot of you guys are happy. You're in a very big go-getter energy. You're also in a very fulfilled energy. Ace of Cups is like, I'm doing a lot of great things right now that I love, that I'm connected with. You know, I feel really good on an emotional level. I feel like my emotions are recouped. You know, everything is good. Everything's grounded. I could definitely say pretty emotionally grounded is how you're coming off here in the month of August. So as far as what I'm seeing, I think you guys are looking pretty rock solid, man. Uh, you're just looking at a month here that is jam-packed with lighthearted energy, that is jam-packed with you doing multiple things and keeping busy. Busy, and your mentality here just seems really positive. I think that you're not giving yourself the opportunity to overthink or to get stuck in your head or to get bored where everything starts to, uh, you know, feel a little bit meh or bleh. You know, you're just in a space where you're constantly keeping up with activities and um, it seems really good. It seems really healthy here. 
you know, some of you guys could be taking up new activities. You might be going to like uh, the gym, maybe you're doing like kickboxing or yoga or something like that. You know, you might be incorporating new types of things into your daily routine as well that helps you get your energy out and helps you get any sort of stressors out too. You know, you might be trying activities that relieve stress. If that's the case, really, really awesome to incorporate that into your daily routine. So as far as what I'm picking up on here, you know, your month is all about being as lighthearted as possible, being as busy as possible, you know, really choosing to explore more with what you haven't really explored before. You know, as I've mentioned, this could be the time where hidden talents are coming to life or where buried dreams are coming back to shine. And I think that for those of you guys that have had so many interests, but maybe you felt like you didn't have the time originally to pursue them, this month, you're making time for everything. You know, it's really about, to be honest, I'm making time for my happiness. And that's what's really important, dude. Um, I'm loving that for you, man. Let's go ahead and have a look here and see what you can expect going forward throughout the rest of your August 2022. What can my beautiful Saggies expect going forward, please? Throughout the rest of their August, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout August 2022. First card out is going to be the Five of Wands. So five of wands, typically a card of conflict, typically a card of stress. We'll see why that is in just a sec. Moving on to the next one, we do got the six of swords. There you go. Now that makes sense. Um, what you can expect going forward is lots of stress being eliminated from you. I really do get that a lot of you guys here are just going to be doing stuff that helps eliminate stress. Like you're going to be figuring out what works for you. For me personally, when I'm really stressed out, going to the gym and lifting a bunch of fucking heavy weights makes me feel good. You know, I like that shit. That shit eliminates my stress. So you're going to kind of find your thing, man, that really helps get that negative stressor out of your body. You know, stress is the biggest killing hormone in the entire world. And uh, the more that we eliminate stress in our lives, man, the more longer we live and the more happier we live. So it's cool to see you guys really getting your stress out here. Now we do have the nine of wands showing up. So what you can expect going forward is a lot of things that have been buried deep within you really starting to come out and speak to you. So I mentioned already how old dreams, buried dreams are coming back to be brought to life. And this could also be old parts of yourself that you might have buried out, that you might have buried deep down below that are coming back up saying, hey, I'm ready to be embraced. So if there are signs of yourself, Sagittarius, that you haven't embraced before or that you've kept in the dark, you know, you're going to see those sides of yourself coming back to life as well. And I definitely feel like you're, like you're going to be more accepting of embracing who you are, especially if you've dimmed down certain parts of yourself because of fear of how other people would judge you or because other people weren't happy with it, whatever the case may be. So that's probably a message for like one Sag out there. But if you feel like you have buried parts of yourself, you're going to see those parts come out and shine too. Moving forward from this, we do have here as well, the Eight of Cups. And then looking at the last card for what you can expect going forward, we have here the Ten of Cups. I love it, man. I really do. Taking a look here, man, at what you guys can expect going forward, we got here the Five of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups. So we already talked about, excuse me, <clears throat> we already talked about the Five of Wands to the Six of Cups, or to the Six of Swords. You know, you guys are really doing everything you can to eliminate your stressors, but getting back into that Nine of Wands and Eight of Cups energy, a lot of the things you might have left behind... Maybe it wasn't things you wanted to leave behind, but other people kind of made you. You know, you could have been caught up in situations in your past Sagittarius where you were dealing with romantic partners, family, or friends who just didn't like certain things that you did, and it made you feel like you had to dim your shine or that you had to change the person you were. You know, if you were caught up in situations in your past where you feel like you had to change the person that you were, coming into the month of August, you're bringing back who Sag really is. No one can tell me what to do. Nobody can tell me what I need to dim or tone down. So I'm going to start to be my self again. And you're getting out of that shell here with the nine of wands to the eight of cups. You know, everything that you've kind of dimmed down that maybe other people influenced you to do so, it's coming back up. And the real version of who you truly are is really showing here in this month ahead. And with the ten of cups showing up, guys, that's a, that's the energy of like really, really being fulfilled, really, really being happy. But most of all, it's about being surrounded by really great company. You know, Ten of Cups here is about great family, great friends, great quality of people. And as you're being surrounded by these wonderful high vibrating energies, it makes you feel more high vibrational and happy all the more. So Sagittarius, <clears throat> you guys are looking at a really, really wonderful month ahead. Like I actually have zero complaints for what I'm seeing here, man. You guys are looking at a really rock solid month. And like I mentioned from the beginning of the video here, you know, this month starts out with you releasing a lot of pain. You know, you went through what you had to go through throughout cancer season or for however long you needed to, and you're coming out this month shining. 
This is the month about lightheartedness, about incorporating more fun, about incorporating more experiences and just living your best life. I do see a time and frame where you're probably going to be meeting a lot more people. You know, there's a chance for love to spark here for a few of you Sagittarians. You might come into contact with somebody that you form a really awesome connection with and maybe it goes somewhere. But overall, guys... Who you truly are is starting to come back to life. You know, that flame that you might have felt was burnt out on you, Sagittarius, is being relit. And that is really wonderful to see. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at the overall outcome for you. What's going to be the overall outcome here, please, for the zodiac signs of Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout August 2022. What's going to be the overall outcome? And what do we got? We got here the moon card, man. I love that too. Moon card is interesting because the moon card is what talks about your emotions. You know, if you take a look at the imagery here, it looks like these two people are clashing, which could be representing like your emotions being in a pretty up and down state. But I feel that what's most important about the moon card showing up here as the outcome is that when you look at the emotional transformation that's happened here, you really, really see it. The thing is, is that we have this dark and then we have this light. So there's a person here who's kind of like portrayed as this dark force, and then there's a person here who's portrayed as this light force, and if you look at the imagery, it looks like the person who's the light force is winning. It's winning the battle. So I feel like you've overcome here with the moon card your dark battle. Whatever you've gone through for the past month of cancer season or for the past whatever amount of time you've been through, you know, you've definitely gone through some challenges that have caused a lot of painful moments for you. You know, you've encountered a lot of pain, but I feel like at the end of this month, you come out overcoming that pain. And that's what I feel is truly being portrayed here in that moon card. So I love it for you, Saj. You're coming out here in this month, really changing up the game. You seem to be getting out of your shell a lot. Of course, you're coming into this month being incredibly happy and fulfilled. And I think that it's really, really rad, man, to see this awesome transformation ahead for you and to see just you being in this lighthearted, have fun, live your best life type of energy, and just to see all the wonderful opportunities that are coming to you as well. I feel like by you being in this high vibrational energy, you're going to be very magnetic for new opportunities. So I wouldn't doubt you guys meeting new friends and meeting new people or getting this new job opportunity or, you know, finally chasing a dream that you buried and starting to see success coming from it. It's like all of who you are is coming back to life and people love that. People are going to love seeing Sagittarius in their full force, in their full nature and, um... It's going to be awesome, dude. I got no words, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually speechless, man, for once when it comes towards a tarot reading. Like, this was freaking awesome for me to read, man. It was an honor. Sagittarius, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if this message resonates to you, let me know down in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. Of course, if this is not your story, you know, stay tuned till next time. Might have another uh, resonating story for you guys for the next one that comes out. Also, feel free to check out any other awesome readers on the platform. But with that being said, love you, Sagittarius. Enjoy your month ahead, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.